Yeah. I want to show you, this is a, a sugar grace garden that I have been telling you about. And I think I showed it to you some time back. We uh, planted sugar grace and uh, we harvested it uh, like five times. So we had to sweep off that old stock and then replace. So this is another generation uh, of uh, sugar grace in the same area. So this has been here for uh, two and a half months. And actually today we have harvested it. We have harvested it and we are carrying it for silage. Uh, the sugar grace, when I talk about the sugar grace, is what I'm talking about. I've showed it to you many times. I told you actually what you need to know is the system of cutting. I think you can see we cut from the ground. It be like this. Then we bring the, the panga and we cut down at the lower end. So the moment you cut at the lower end, the rest of this is really taken up and uh, we chop it, we make silage. Silage is a form of storage of the feed. I've told you that many times because some of you really confuse the word silage and hay. Uh, those are two different forms of, um, <clears throat> of storing of the grasses. You get it? If you store grass when semi-dried, that is called hay. And then if you store it uh, fermented, uh, what am I meaning by fermenting? is you cut it, you chop it, then after chopping it, you inside it. So insiding, that means you're doing what they call silage. Silage is the fermented feed. You get it? Out of this. With that system, this is all a feed. We are going to crush everything. I think I'm going to even show it to you. Then after showing it to you, um, I'll show you even how to cover it. I've done that many times. I've showed you many times. So now what we are going to do, after cutting, we are going to weed, like digging. So after digging, it is going to regrow, and then we harvest one second time. So after cutting this, you come, I show you, we load it on the truck. Then after loading it on the truck, we carry it home. So that's what we are trying to do. Here. Thunder, we can do many things that we don't even think about. We can do many things that you don't even think about. So we have planted, we have harvested, and now we are carrying it home. We are going to do the silage. I'm even going to show you the video. You come and see the car truck we are loading on to carry it home. So, from cutting, don't wilt. Because many people have been telling you that you have to wilt. Manya, after wilting, that's when you can do silage. Those are just words. After cutting immediately, we are cutting it home. Then when it reaches home, of course we are going to chop it. And I'm going to show it to you. So wilting it doesn't make any sense. But um, you only wilt that that you're going to keep in a hay form, which is semi-dried form. So after wilting, sorry, after cutting this sugar grade, you don't have to wilt. After cutting, immediately take it in the machine and then chop it. But if there is a condition that I've not allowed you to um, put it in the machine there and then, and it wilts, there is also no problem. But the moment you leave it to wilt, you're losing a lot of water. And that is also um, uh, not good for the silage. The silage is a moist grass, which is supposed to have that water content, supposed to have carbohydrates, it's supposed to have the, the, the protein, like the way you see. So actually, don't say that you have to wilt it, no, cut. Then after cutting it, carry it, and then be chopped. So I'm going to show you um, the chopping process and the siling process. Thank you very much. Let me just switch you. So we are we are now loading to carry, then go and ensile. 